It's now from a tiny Bradford mill. A tiny little mill. <laughs> it makes there. me laugh every time we've read that I know, because we're talking about Gulliver's Travels. Uh, Start from, anyway... A mill in Bradford are celebrating their involvement in the new Gulliver's Travels film starring Jack Black. Uh, for over a year now, 20 workers at Wydean Weaving have been creating military costumes for the movie. The film's now on general release and for the first time employees getting to see what their handiwork looks like on the big screen. We can speak this morning to Robin Wright, he's Managing Director of Wydean and joins us on the line now. Morning, Robin. Good morning. Um, this is a, a great coup for your company. How did you get involved in, in making costumes for a Hollywood blockbuster? Well, we've been making uniforms for the uh, theatrical costume business for many years now, and uh, so well known by the, the theatrical costumers. And when the productions like this come along, they give us a ring. And obviously, the, the Gulliver's Travels is all about size. We kind of imagine tiny little people in a tiny little mill making tiny little costumes, but I'm taking it they're just standard size. Well, no. Uh, in fact, some of these actors are quite large and quite pernickety about what they require. Mr. Connolly, for instance, uh, made quite a few changes to his uniform when uh, when production began back in April. 2009. Oh, really? Was he quite difficult then? I wouldn't say difficult, but he, he likes to put his own touch onto things, so uh, we had to make a few adjustments, yeah. Uh, and what sort of costumes were you making for him? Well, he was, he, he's uh, the king. Uh, I don't know if once you've seen that, you'll, uh, you'll see the range of uh, uniforms in there, but the original request was, uh, was two years ago, actually, and uh, the original brief was, that, was to create two armies, one in red and one in br uh, blue, with 300 uniforms in total with the kind of Victorian look, and that's all we had to go on, so uh, the rest was left to us, really. And how much consideration did you have to give the, the fact that it would be seen on film on a big screen? Does that change the design in any way? Well, at that time, we didn't realise it was going to be high definition or, indeed, 3D, so it'll be interesting to see what the out... Uh, what the outcome is yet. I haven't seen it myself yet. So looking forward to seeing it in the cinemas. Uh, any other movie link-ups in the pipeline? Nothing that we know of at the moment, but I'm sure there's a producer somewhere cooking something up for us. Uh, and in terms of how reliant you are on this kind of costume b business, is that where the majority of your income comes from? No, this is a sideline. Our main core production is in supplying ceremonial insignia for uniform services, armies, navies, air forces worldwide. But this uh, theatrical costume business is an interesting diversion for us all. Yeah, it's quite exciting for your workers to be involved with the project project like that. Indeed it is, yes. Fantastic. Well, we'll look out for you. Do you get, did you, does the company get a credit in the credits? We sit right through to the very end um, to I watch. doubt it. Unfortunately, a little mill in Howarth doesn't, uh, <laughs> doesn't roll down the list below Pinewood Studios. Oh, that's a shame. Well, thank you for telling us a little more. That's Robin Wright, Managing Director of Y Dean. So if you go and watch Gulliver's Travels mm. and you see Billy Connolly up there in his costume, then think, that was made round here. Yep, local links. Uh, I should think they would get a mention in the credits, because well, everybody seems I to get a mention. So, you know, yeah. Best Boy, Jaffa, and... Tape, or whatever it is. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know what the best boy does? No. No, well, I don't know either, actually. Oh.